In this video, we will be further discussing friction using the same dog and the dog food bag, except this time they are on a slope. Dogs can't grip surfaces as well as cats do, so we will say the slope is not very steep and the surface is a carpet. So we have the bag's weight and the normal force. If you look closely, you will notice that the forces are angled differently. Since the slope is at an angle, it is useful to define coordinate axes that are parallel and perpendicular to the slope. We will look at the force components along these directions and distinguish them by two symbols. The two lines for parallel and the upside down T for perpendicular. The angle of the slope is 25 degrees. Because we are at an angle, we will break up the weight into its parallel and perpendicular components. Why do we need to do this? As you can see, the normal force has no components because it is already perpendicular to the slope. But weight w has one component in the parallel and one in the perpendicular direction. Since the vector is not aligned along the parallel or the perpendicular axis, we need to split it into its components. Also, here the perpendicular component of w equals the normal force, which is different than on level ground. On level ground, the normal force is equal to the weight. Here on the slope, the normal force is less than on level ground because only a component of the weight contributes to the normal force, which consequently results in a lower maximum static friction force. Now, the next step is to make a table where we can list what forces we have in the parallel and perpendicular directions. For the perpendicular direction, we have n and also the weight but this is the perpendicular component of the weight. For the parallel direction, we have friction. Notice it has a little k in front, indicating that the bag is in motion. We also have the parallel component of weight. Next, we can insert the equations we will be using. For the perpendicular direction, we have n, which is equal to the perpendicular component of weight. And this gives us mg cos 25 degrees because we said that the angle of the slope is 25 degrees. This means n is equal to mg cos 25. Now you might be wondering where we are going with this because there is no question to work with. We wanted to show that in general it is a very good idea to break a situation into smaller parts to work with before we can go on to attempt the question. So here is the question. We are going to look for the coefficient of friction if the kinetic friction is 45 newtons. This will be much easier to solve because we have already done the most difficult task of breaking up the force components. All we need to do now is use our two formulas and make a substitution. Since we have n in both formulas and we are looking for the coefficient of friction, we can substitute n equals mg cos 25 degrees into our friction formula. Once we do this, we only have one formula to work with. So that's it for now. I hope you found this video helpful.